Okay. Now, for someone, and I'm sure most people that decide to do this surgery, they've had pain walking on that foot for a long time. But when it's time to start walking again to push off, um, when will they be able to feel comfortable and not have as much pain? So normally when you um, take down the splint, take the patient's stitches out and you put them into the walking boot, the first comment that you get from the patient, they're like, oh, wow, my foot feels different. And the reason it feels different is they're taking that strap, they're putting it across the, their front part of their foot, and there's no strap going on that bump because the bump is gone. And so that's the first thing they kind of notice is they don't have that immediate irritation from something going across the top of their foot. The second thing that they make a comment on is, oh, my foot feels a little bit straighter or a little bit stiffer. And the reason for that is we just picked the bone up, moved it, and put it where God intended it to be. And so um, really when they start to really notice the difference is when they get to PT and they start to, I call it, taste the shoe. And so normally um, when the patients get into the walking boot, you know, 10 days after the surgery, they start walking in the boot. They notice those initial, you know, kind of abnormal feelings because their foot's been this way for so long. But when uh, they're at physical therapy, you know, another few weeks down the line, I tell them, okay, take a shoe with you to PT, do PT in a shoe, but then put your boot on when you leave. When they start making that transition period, that's when they really realize, hey, I'm walking in my shoe different. You know, my whole gait cycle's changed because the, the first ray or where the bunion is, that controls a lot of the supination and pronation that's going through the foot and how that foot's functioning biomechanically. And we just altered that drastically. Once they realize that and they can start getting further in rehabilitation, their pain, their pain level is like the back end of a roller coaster, right? Compared to you're coming back in to get off the ride. And so the pain gradually decreases most of the time through week three to week 12. They see that gradual decline as they're transitioning into shoes.